the Bassett Creek Watershed Management Commission presents Leave the Leaves Except in the Street. Way back in the 1700s, landscape designers in England and France premiered the concept of closely cut, well-kept grass areas and coined the term lawn. The amount of maintenance required to keep lawns kept them strictly in the realm of the rich because the only available lawnmowers were either livestock or scythe-yielding servants. American founders adopted this look and it was popularized here too. Hundreds of years later, these beautiful, healthy, well-tended lawns remain part of the American dream while nearly everything else has changed from clothing styles to human rights, scientific discoveries, and so much more. How is it that our aesthetics concerning yards have changed relatively little for centuries. Maybe it's time to take a closer look at lawns and see if humanity could benefit from a fashion makeover. It may be habitual or it may be a matter of social conditioning, but many of us just can't seem to help ourselves from wanting to tidy up the yard at the end of the season, raking, mowing, and blowing away every bit of nature. The thing to keep in mind is that these leaves aren't just litter. They're the basis of our food web. And when we dispose of the leaves, we're disposing of all of the pollinators and the food all the way up the food chain. That's why this year we're asking folks to give themselves some time off from raking and embrace a new aesthetic of basically just leaving the leaves in your yard, but not in the street. Leaves in your yard provide food and habitat and insulation for so many critters, but if the leaves are on the street, they'll wash into the storm drains and end up in our nearby waters, adding excessive amounts of nutrients into those waters. <laughs> but your first question might be, if I don't rake up my leaves, won't they just blow into the street? Uh, yeah, good point. If you have a lot of leaves just blowing around, we recommend raking them up and piling them on top of an existing garden or shrub bed or in an inconspicuous spot in the back of your yard. If you still have leaves you don't know what to do with, go ahead and compost them. That's the second best thing to do with leaves. We understand that some viewers may find this request of basically leaving the leaves somewhat horrifying because you may feel that leaving the leaves might give your neighbors the impression that you don't care. But please remember, you can maintain a tidy looking yard by putting the leaves in your garden beds. Plus, you'll save bundles of work and loads of money because you won't need to buy mulch in the spring. And sometimes it's okay to change our fashions, don't you think? 